What's up guys, welcome back to a, another video. Today, as you can see, we have something quite interesting on the screen here on the RuneScape news page saying upcoming improvements to Treasure Hunter. This was posted just today. I've only just actually seen it. There was nothing um, that like pinged me or anything. For some reason, I just decided to come and check and I saw this instead of what I was actually coming to look for. But um, this is interesting and I'm going to have a look through it. I've not read through it just yet but basically it says upcoming improvements to treasure hunter so jagex are going to be changing treasure hunter by the sound of it or improving it but having a quick scroll through here there's a lot so there's gonna be quite a bit to talk about which should be interesting hopefully you guys uh, find this interesting if you do then leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's find out what jagex are changing to treasure hunter together and then we'll talk about it and uh we'll, we'll, we'll maybe a little bit I'm, I'm quite critical um in the way of, of talking about treasure hunter normally so we'll just have to see what's happening in here anyway so they say hey escapers we've been continuing to improve and refine the treasure hunter experience over the past few years our last major update focused on adding more transparency primarily through probability disclosures but also by simplifying the experience and removing the near defunct hearts of ice to focus on oddments yeah hearts of ice were pretty pretty trash to be fair I mean, we just went all to, like all in our oddments, right? I think they even cashed out Hearts of Ice and gave oddments for whatever Hearts of Ice you had left. Because obviously you used to get those when you would buy keys as well. So, yeah. As for the transparency with um, probability disclosures, I think, wasn't this a legal thing? Didn't they have to do that? I don't know for sure. Like, I, I don't know exactly. But I think they had to do that, right? This is a legal thing they have to do. I could be wrong. You'll have to tell me if I'm wrong in the, in the, in the comments and stuff. But... I don't know. <laughs> Adding more transparency and stuff and then it, it being something they have to do. I don't know. If that's actually right, then uh, it's, I don't know. Strange. But anyway, next Monday, we're looking to deliver three more key improvements to the Treasure Hunter experience. Okay. So focus on oddments and simplify their use. Wait. Focus on oddments and simplify the user experience for prize choices. Okay. Address more balancing and in-game economy issues with certain items such as silver hot feathers. This is kind of important. I wonder if they're gonna stop flooding it with silver hot feathers. To be fair, but at the same time, like I don't know, silver hot feathers being really ridiculously cheap isn't a bad thing. Like it doesn't. It's, it's a treasure hunter item, right? And you can kind of look at this in more than one way. And we'll talk about it in just a second. But the other one is improve the ultimate store experience in general. <laughs> that could mean anything. That could mean anything. It could mean a, a rework to the UI or it could mean like adding more stuff to it that's actually like desirable or I don't really know. It could mean anything, but we'll get to the end of this and then I'll come back and I want, I want to talk about this a little bit, Um, but we'll, we'll come back to that. The augment store has become an increasingly important part of the Treasure Hunter experience with the ability to turn unwanted prizes into a flexible currency that you can spend on uh, on past Yak Track cosmetics or consumables like lamps or stars. With this update, the, our plan is to improve improve the overall experience from updating the ui to removing limited daily sales while reducing oddments pricing updating the ui okay so this is this is what they said about the, the overall thing so they're going to um update the ui remove limited daily sales while reducing oddments pricing so they're saying that things are going to be cheaper i think they're also saying that they are removing limited daily sales as in like uh as in like what you can buy as many daily keys as you want with your oddments and stuff. Is that a good idea, Jagex, after what happened last time? I guess they're just going to have to be way more careful um, in things, which the problem is there's not going to be like any promotions anymore that just like hand out oddments like crazy. But anyway, one of the ways we'll also do this is by removing the conflicting layers of the oddment store and the multi-prize selection. Okay, after this update, all the focus will be on the oddment store as the prize opt out for players who don't want their initial prize. This will then give us the op opportunity to address some of the balancing issues caused by the conflicting systems, especially the most affected items such as silver hope there's proteins and springs. Here's a look at uh, the full list of changes to come. Okay, so we'll have a look at that in a second. I feel like there's a few things in here that, that kind of... <laughs> I don't know if you guys picked up on it, but I can't... Maybe, like I say, I'm just too critical about it, but there's a couple of things in here that I, I don't know. Right, so this one that we're talking about here with the, uh, the Silver Hope Feathers is... It, the one What I wanted to say about this is if these prices go up, right... If they can push the price of these items that are ridiculously cheap back up, because silver hot feathers used to be a decent prize back in the day. Like if you got if you got a hundred silver hot feathers, you would claim it because it was worth money. It was expensive as hell. It would be like three mil or something. It was it was a really good drop to get them treasure. You'll be happy with it. Whereas now, if you get that as a purple prize, you're like, why the frick would I ever pick silver hot feathers? What the hell? No. What what is this crap? Whereas back in the day, you'd be like, yes, holy, that's good. It's money, straight up cash. So that does a thing to people. If you want to buy keys and you know that your incentive is 
cash because most people's incentive on treasure hunter is to get experience and to get cash get gp right get get coins so if these items are back going like back up expensive again then they can leave them on there and it'll push key sales because some people who look at it and go well if i buy i can buy bonds and get pure pure gold or i can buy keys and i can get experience and i can get gold and then you'd have to spend more money on keys as well to be able to actually get the gold return um that you want to get from it as well so you kind of like push key sales a little bit um which obviously is a good thing for them because they want to make money but maybe that's like a, a hidden sort of incentive for them as well but at the same time it is what it is like it, it, I, I like these being cheap because new players can get through freaking agilities faster it's a pain in the ass and it, it's i think silver hawks are a great thing so hopefully they don't f like fly back up but it, i mean for anyone wondering that that's kind of what i'm taking from it but anyway the next thing um was what is it down here saying that they're changing how the oddments work and stuff so to me it sounds good like they're gonna they're gonna make it so that there's no limit to buying keys and stuff so if there's a really good promotion that you want to get onto you can use as many oddments as you've saved up over, over time and buy all the keys um and there's not gonna be a limit to the, to the lamps and whatnot i guess and, and all that sort of thing now the thing is here in my opinion is uh that they're gonna they're, they're doing that but they're also making it so that you can't cash out um your your, tre your treasure and keys into as many opens as you do so at the moment and especially on the, on the promotion that's just happened if you get a multi thing like with the easter thing you get the multis you get guaranteed like three times reds or whatever for the next eight keys you're gonna get so many oddments you spend all your all your oddments on keys it doesn't matter what the price is when you cash those and convert them into oddments you're always going to have oddments always you're always going to be up on oddments it happens every single time and it happens all the time over christmas you could get ridiculous amount of oddments like it's it's ridiculous it's insane so with this they are going to remove the cost of the the key prices or reduce them but at the same time they are pro very likely gonna um push key sales again because if you aren't getting as many oddments as you used to then people can't buy those 30 daily keys that you would normally buy to satisfy the itch of why like, opening 30 treasure hunter keys you know like that's a pretty good pretty good itch to the um to the addiction of opening treasure hunter keys whereas if you don't have that because you spent all your oddments already then uh, yes there's no limit anymore but you don't have any more oddments to spend it on so you better get your card out because if you have that itch to open up more treasure hunter keys if you'd like the promotion that's going on currently there's no point just waiting until tomorrow because you're not going to have any more keys to get um you, you're basically going to have to, to, to buy more keys so that's like another thing as well that kind of went through me like i said i may be just being way too critical you'll have to let me know what you guys think but i don't know i kind of look at treasure hunter as a very <laughs> a very um not player friendly thing i guess i don't know i don't mind it i think it's fine people do what they want like you, you do what you do it's when it's like predatory and the fear of missing out all that sort of stuff uh, taking advantage of like addictions and whatnot that's what kind of bothers me but anyway let's move on to the next bit Oddment store content improvements added the legendary pets water lichen and fire lichen into the oddment store for 50,000 oddments each holy crap so adding legendary pets is pretty cool i like that idea because then you can get legendary pets from um well from oddments i guess it's still it's not paying for stuff that over time you're gonna get oddments anyway just from your daily keys right from being a member you get two um so i mean that's fine i think that's good removed randomized sales from treasure hunter keys medium prismatic lamps and medium prismatic stars but slightly lowered their prices okay so there's never there's not many sales anymore so if you guys can hear that drill i really apologize but i'll try and remove it in editing um but yeah so there's not gonna be any sales you're not gonna get 50 percent off 75 percent off or whatever but the average price themselves is actually gonna go down so you will be paying less overall it's just there's not gonna be sales which uh, i don't know about that one because i just used to wait if you're 75 percent off lamps you would just buy them all out and that's great xp and it costs nearly nothing so i guess you're gonna be spending your oven so quicker probably doubled the daily purchase cap on treasure on the keys medium prismatic lengths medium prismatic stars small protein packs cinder cores and pulse cores and also so you can now buy 30 um and i think it's i think it's 30 was the original so you can now buy 60 right so you can buy you can buy twice as many of these things so it's not an unlimited cap but you can buy twice as many I mean you will go through your items quickly consolidated various items at the element store into packs okay fair enough so that's the changes for the actual um oddments prices and stuff and um i, I don't see there's there's not anything wrong with that you're just going to use up your oddments quicker it means people aren't going to have stacks and stacks of oddments probably unless you already do have them in which case you'll probably take a while to run out of them but i don't think people are going to build up massive stacks of ovens unless you just don't buy anything anymore so yeah so ux it's typical the, the, the timing on that drill 
There's no way you guys can't hear that. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, UX improvements. Added more details to the consumer items preview description in the Auburn store. Added the new banner for items that have just been added to the Auburn store. This will show for 14 days. We've seen that. It was a bug. Um, I don't think it was meant to show, but it does. It did. Um, so, yeah. Added banners to every item with a daily purchase cap, with which will display the number of purchases remaining for that day. Added the banner to every item. With, okay, so it'll actually tell you how many you've got left, so you can buy the, the X amount and you can see it. That's good. Because you just have to try and buy one and they say, oh, you can only buy this many left. Um, the Ornament Store now uses the preview screen of the Spotlights tab. Uh, this, the preview screen has been updated to show more visual previews of outfits, pets, and animations. Yes, we should have preview of stuff, definitely. Because I was always going to the wiki and searching up what the, the, the override was or whatever to see how it looked. Um, so having it in game it just, just makes sense it's just cleaner um oddment store item cards can oddment store item cards now show prices with separators at a cost of 1000 oddments or above um okay now show prices with separators i'm not too sure what that means exactly but maybe i'm just being stupid increase the size of the item card icons in the oddment store so you can see stuff that the, the, the icon thing is better that's good replace any low resolution item card icons in the oddment store with high resolution ones <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is one more thing that's bothering me slightly but hey stop the scroll position in the oddment store from resetting with clicked clicking an, an item card wait stop the scroll position in the oddment store from resetting with clicking an item. okay okay that's fine um standardized item names and descriptions as well as purchase messages in the oddment store updated the order of the item cards in the oddment store so that the filing columns the filling columns or whatever is now prioritized over filling rows filing filling whatever that is uh, okay it's just like the using the, the interface and stuff. Stopped items, stopped item tiles from spilling out of their text area by truncating the names and adding dots for those over a certain length. Okay, so this just basically cleans up and how uh, how it looks and stuff. Other. Out of the plus button to the augment store account in the header of the marketplace, which opens the treasure hunter in interface when clicked. Uh, okay, so buying more augments, I guess, would mean buying more keys. Maybe that's what that means. Renamed the rewards tab in the augment store to consumables. The rewards tab to consumables. Okay. That's strange. Would it be consumables? Are we going to get like a token or anything to use? Or is it just going to be applied? I don't know. I thought I think rewards was fine. Doesn't matter much. Um, the next thing I was thinking, by the way, is there's a lot. There's a lot of work done on Treasure Hunter, you know? <laughs> I know a lot of people go like, oh, why are you spending so much dev time on Treasure Hunter? Now, I understand they probably have different teams, right? They probably have a, a team for Treasure Hunter, a team for... Um, like like mobile and their team for the main game and then they'll have like, the, the team that does this and, and that and all the different stuff is all split up right they're not like treasure hunter to dev time isn't going to affect other dev time but it just seems like treasure hunter's getting a lot of attention like that thing like that team is working their asses off going absolutely crazy um, while the other teams uh, like not to like I, like i'm not bad mouthing the mods or anything the devs whatever they, they all work really hard and it's not it's not it's not, not them specifically right it's still a company but I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot coming out of Treasure Hunter right now, and yeah, it's crazy. Let me know what you guys think about that too. How, whatever, like it is what it is. I've said what I've said. Um, Treasure Hunter, the multiple choice Treasure Hunter price selection screen has been removed. Okay, so we don't have the multiple selection thing anymore. We just get you just get a prize like you used to. Um, Oddment prizes have been removed from the Treasure Hunter drop table. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll talk about this in a sec. The, the number of portable items received from portable packs has been reduced. Any unopened portable packs acquired before April 25th will not be impacted. This is the same thing as what I'm talking about here. Um, the convert the convert confirm functionality will check was changed and will no longer ask for confirmation on the white and yellow tier prizes, but will for higher tiers. Improved auto redeem messaging to remove spam. Uh, spring cleaner is now available on the loot table again if the player does not own it already you can buy that involvement though right unless they removed it from that but okay players can no longer gain lucky wait isn't spring spring cleaner free is it not it's not free i thought it was players can no longer gain lucky items as a super rare reward from chests wait does that discontinue lucky items then players can no longer gain lucky items as a super rare reward from chests okay i wonder if that's discontinued that would make them really cool so but uh, I don't know. Combat dummies no longer appear in red or purple tier prizes. Also, I'm very happy with this, by the way. They should. They, we shouldn't be getting like like weapons and stuff on treasure. No, it's crazy. What if like a, a beginner, like a brand new player, gets lucky bandos armor or whatever? Like this just takes stuff off. Like I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, combat dummies can no longer appear in the red or purple tier prizes. Spirit gems can now be noted. Protein packs have been replaced with protein specific items. There's no packs, just items. 
that's it for the new treasure hunt, uh, the new look treasure hunter. Thank you to everyone who continues to provide us constructive feedback and the insights into your treasure hunter experience. All the best. I mean, did did anyone really give feedback that says to to make items more expensive? <laughs> I feel like this is what they're doing. Okay, so this is this is what I wanted to say with this. And this is the last bit before we end the video. It's long. This is the last bit. I feel like the, the goal of this is to make Treasure Hunter and Oddments more uh, like appealable, more interesting, more useful, which is good. Okay, it's good. Until you look at the fact that they're gonna they're basically removing the amount of oddments people are gonna get and they're increasing the prices of the items that are on the Treasure Hunter store as in like the the, the, the stuff like um where where was that? The 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 portables portables are the, the the portable wells portable construction things all that sort of stuff right um which are tradable so if you get them on treasure hunter the prices of them aren't that expensive at the moment but if you take them off like if you reduce them which i'm doing i'm doing it's a lot right uh it's probably going to be it's probably going to be like more expensive which means there's more incentive in making money on treasure hunter if you can make more gold on treasure hunter you're going to push more sales if you have less oddments on like like being given out to treasure hunter then there's less people buying keys of oddments because you can't you run out of oddments right you save up for other things as well add more stuff that isn't like the thing at the moment is you pretty much just spend your oddments on keys or um silver hawks or like xp stuff you know like lamps and that whereas if you run out of oddments because it's not it's not given out anywhere near as much then you, you resort back to key sales so yeah they're trying to make more money basically is what i'm trying to say and that's fine the company needs to make more money but it just seems delivered in this in a, in a little bit crazy way i guess you can't be fully transparent about that sort of thing uh i could be wrong this is my opinion just to make this very clear this is my opinion on this and uh, it may be a little bit of a critical one it may be i don't know I don't know. It is what it is. <laughs> so I can say this is, this is a very casual video, by the way. I know there's not much like effort put into um, the structure of it. I just read through it, talk like like in the patch notes and stuff. But I like this sort of thing, and I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. What do you think about the changes to the to the uh, treasure hunting stuff, the augment store? Do you do you see any issues with it? Do you see anything that you wish would be done differently? Are you happy with it? Let me know in the comments. Very interested in hearing. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Your names will be on screen now for the channel members. If you want to join the channel members, then click the join button by the sub button i very much appreciate the extra support uh, if you did enjoy leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new other than that i will see you all in the next one see you later guys